Hey golf fans, welcome back to the final round of the Zurich Classic here on the Golf Club 2019. We do go into the final round as co-leader. Um, really kind of struggled with reading the greens yesterday in the first round, but we are going to kick off the second round here, which is the final round and it will be on pin set two. Conditions are default. Like I say, I'm not confident of winning this event. I really think the AI will pick up and probably shoot 18, 19 under for the for the win here. I'm just hoping to get close to it. And let's see if we can make it exciting. So, 7 mile per hour wind. Once again, hope you like the new outfit. Just keeping things fresh and snazzy. Like I said in the previous video, if you do guys want to come up for an outfit for me, um, please feel free to share it to Twitter. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is at 1981 early. I will leave the link to my Twitter page in the video description, so fantastic opening tee shot, has left us a pitch shot, I really did struggle with the pitch shots yesterday, just confirming the green speeds here guys, I'm sure medium slow and the greens are normal, so this ball should check up fairly quickly for me, that wind has really settled down, we did have a 7-8 mile per hour wind on the, the, the tee shots, now down to 2, I do hope you guys are well and having a fantastic weekend, it's a glorious Sunday morning here. Push that slightly right, should run out and check for us, and that is a fantastic opening pitch shot, long may the pitch shots uh, continue like that. I am just getting ready to head out to football. So we do pick up an opening birdie here, and that puts us at 10 under, we are 6 shots off the current leader, Shane Lowry, Sam Sneed, Dustin Johnson, Bian, all at the top of the leaderboard there. Hopefully it's an exciting leaderboard as it was yesterday. There was lots of twists and turns on the leaderboard. Hole 2, par 5, really looking to birdie this. It's another really good tee shot. Straight down the centre of the fairway. And we should be able to reach this green comfortably in 2 oh. You see, don't think the hybrid's going to get there, so just going to apply a touch of draw to this two iron, try to come over the top of the bunker and see if we can get it sitting down as quick as we can. If not, it will be a chip shot from either off the green or on the left hand side. Kind of pulled that left. It should get over the bunker though. This could actually work out fairly well. I had no intention of using the rough there to hold the ball up. It's going to be a longish putt anyway. And hopefully we can at least walk away with birdie here. Eagle would be fantastic. 23 foot putt. As you can see, this one's really going to turn hard left. Nasty greens in this course, guys. We did have a few phantom breaks in the first round. Is that going to turn? It is. We just didn't play it firm enough. I think a combination with the aggressive breaks and the really agonisingly slow, slow greens. It's, it's a very... It's a tough combination. Especially for me, put it that way. Some guys may prefer the slower greens. I certainly don't. I prefer the, the faster greens. I find them easier. So, hole number three. Par 3, 220 yards. We are currently 2 under, so great start to this round. Back to back birdies. We do have a 9 mile per hour win, so just applying a touch of fade here. Hybrid's perfect. See if we can get this one running up towards the pin and keep this birdie run going. I'm going to have to be in the top of my game if I'm going to hunt down the AI. It's a really good swing. The wind should start to take us round. It has. I think we may be a little bit long here. Just a touch too long. But we do have another birdie opportunity here. Probably about 20 feet. 15 feet a lot closer than I expected. Once again, this one's going to turn to the left. Slight uphill element to it. Certainly played it firm enough. Is it going to turn? Oh, it did turn. It did turn and we just missed that on the left hand side and we are going to pick up our first par off the round. I've not really been following the Zurich Classic guys, like I say it's quite a weird format. 
Um, not that it's an enjoyable format. I've just not had time this weekend to, to sit down and watch watch TV. I may try and pick up the final round this evening after football. So hole four, once again, try to take the same line as we did on the first round. Just applying a touch of fade here. Come over the top of this tree and find the fairway. It's a fantastic tee shot. Starting to iron and out my new swing. I would probably say I'm about 90% there, guys. Starting to gain confidence daily on it. So that has left us with 152 yards. I think the 9 iron's perfect here. 9 mile per hour wind. Just de lofting as a touch. That wind will take us to the left, and we are applying a touch of fade here. Just to try and straighten this shot out with the wind. Let's see if we can get a pin seeker. It's another fantastic strike. This looks like it could be right at the pin. Come on, this should run out well for me. And that is a fairly good outcome there. That sat down really, really quickly. We do have a nine foot putt. Very little movement in this. Play this firm enough, it should drop. Wow, once again, guys, these greens are catching me out. That, I think we've been given a phantom break. I sh yeah, look at that. That is not the read I had on my first approach. But that's down to me. I should be taking more care on these greens and probably getting down to the worm cam. So I do believe that the, the things I was told about this course heading into the first round, which was the first time I played it, this is my second time playing this course, they are coming through. I, I don't like the greens... And I think it's a bit of a leveller here for the AI. The greens are very unpredictable. A lot of phantom breaks for me anyway. But we are playing well. I'm just going to keep plugging away. Like I say, guys, I, I don't think I'll win this event. I really don't. I think the AI is playing really, really strong. And I think these greens are such a leveller. The lack of pace on them, I just do not like. But we're going to try our best to, to win this event. We failed to win the previous event when we changed the settings and made it slightly more difficult. So once again, 9 iron. The wind should take us around to the left here. Wasn't happy with how that came back. Decent strike. I like the look of this. I like the look of this. I think it may come up a little bit short. Come on, kick out. Kick out. No, we have played that really, really well. Probably looking about a 4 to 5 foot putt for the birdie. Little five footer, this one is going to turn to the right. We do play that with a firm pace and we do pick up our third birdie of the round. We move to three under for the day, 12 under for the event, four shots off the lead. Joint leaders are Shane Lowry and Sam Sneed. Sam Sneed, the golfing legends, really hung about here in the Zurich Classic. Fantastic to see. So, once again, just using the this bunker is my guide, allowing the wind to take us round and hopefully find the right centre of the fairway. A lot happy with my swing today. Seems to be getting in the groove. And that should kick out well for me. Just short of the 300 yard mark. So, 188 yards. 9 mile per hour wind. Oh, this is a nasty green. Look at this. Anything left of the flag here, and that ball is disappearing and leaving me a nasty uphill putt. So I'm just de-lofting this a touch. I say a touch. We're de-lofting this a lot because the wind's changed to 10 mile per hour. And I'm allowing this wind to take me round, hopefully to the right-hand side of the flag. That is a lovely clearing strike. Come on, run up. Run up. I think it's going to come up short. Kick out. Kick out. Fairly good effort there, guys. I must admit, I'm going to leave myself a far better putt here than I would a nasty uphill putt with these um, green speeds which I'm just not enjoying I did leave a 3 star rating for this course after my first round I, I just don't think it's a, a great representation of TPC Louisiana and I failed to read the break there so we missed the putt on the high side there hopefully we can convert this little 4 footer but these putts here are missable and yours truly is quite good at missing these putts. 
we do pick up the par there and we are remaining in the hunt to pick up the Zurich Classic trophy. New Orleans, great food, great music. If you're into that kind of music, I think it's jazz music, isn't it? It's, it's originated from Louisiana. So it's another fantastic tee shot. Really feeling my, my drive and my swing line today. A lot happier with it. So, we should be able to reach this green comfortably in two. Just going to loft up this two wood. A lie of the wind. Just want to miss this bunker on the left hand side. Miss it to the left hand side. I know the bunker's on the right hand side. I just want to miss it to the left. I think we're too firm here. We're too firm. That wind didn't. I didn't loft it up enough. And that's going to be a horrible putt. That's going to be a horrible putt. That's something I didn't want to leave in these greens. We're going to struggle to get birdie here. 55 feet, 1 feet up. Just checking the lie at my feet. It's very minimal to the left. It does look like it is breaking from the left to the right. Okay, I think we're, we've got the we've got the the line here. Hopefully, we can get the weight. I'm really going to have to give this a fair smack. 55 feet at one feet, one two one greens. Probably pulled that back about 75%. That's came up way short. I've left that 15 feet short. That is criminal. But like I did say, guys, these greens are going to be the killing of me. I just don't enjoy these greens. I really don't enjoy these green speeds. Turn. 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 Oh, wow. And I f that is so cruel. That is so cruel. I've got a feeling that this... This miss birdie opportunity here is going to come back and haunt me. Hopefully not. So we do not climb up the leaderboard there. Lyrie, Sam Sneed still at the top of the pack. I'm still way back trying to chase and put pressure on these guys. Once again, this is a nasty looking fairway. This this will just trickle into the bunker unless I play it as perfect. So try to stay the right hand side of the fairway. Skirt and death with a bunker here. It's another clean strike. I am really swinging well today. I'm not getting the the outcome my swing deserves. I do not feel that is a fantastic shot. Just on the greens has let me down once again. But like I said, I do not enjoy these greens. 83. So it's playing 83 bang on. That six mile per hour wind will hold me up. And it should move me slightly to the left. So just lofting this up a few touches. I like the look of this. This should turn towards the hole. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. No, it didn't turn. Wow, that is really tricking on. I, I don't get it. I've had so many inconsistent outcomes with the pitch shots on this course. I find that bizarre. That ran 10 feet past after me lofting it up. An uphill putt for birdie. This one's going to turn to the right. Not hit it firm enough of it. No, didn't hit it firm enough. Didn't have the exact line, but I do feel if I played that slightly firmer, that wouldn't have uh, turned too much to the right. Wow, so we've got four. Nick Faldo and Brooks Kopka join Sam Sneed and Shane Lowry at the top there. What a fantastic leaderboard, guys. And I am way behind currently. Final hole of the front nine. I really need to kick on now. Despite swinging well, I'm just not feeling this year. So 211 yards. This wind should hold me up. I want to land this to, to the right of the flag and let it trickle down to the left with a break of the green. Does this have the legs to get there? This should turn towards the flag stick. Come on, get down there. Get down there. Run. Very good effort there. Just coming up a touch short. Probably a 10 foot putt for birdie. 14 feet wide. But this is a nasty putt. It is one foot downhill. Certainly don't want to leave this too short. Turn, turn. It looks good. And we have managed to read a putt. And... 
get the correct pace and we do pick up a birdie there and we move to 13 under we are now three shots back four under for the date no change at the top so we are within touching distance guys to be honest and this is a short par four let's see if we can continue this birdie run One should take us back round to the left hand side and we played that well despite a tiny push right on the back swing and it should be a pitch shot here. Right, so I'm going to learn from the last pitch shot. This wind will hold me up. I'm just clubbing down one here because that, that ball ran, really ran out the last time. So just touching this down, one touch. Allowing the wind to take us round to the left and it should hold us up. It's a fantastic swing. I like the look of this. I should run out and sit down. Run out. Wow, it didn't run out at all. I don't get that. I don't get that. I'm really getting inconsistent um, lengths of my pitch shots with this game. I'm not sure if it's the wind or, or if it's the greens. Get in. Oh, I think it's going to be one of these rounds where we're going to be so close at yet so far, but I am struggling with my pitch shots, guys. Like I say, I feel I'm getting a few inconsistent outcomes. The bottom line is it's probably me. It's not executing them well enough or judging them well enough. But no change at the top. We've got holes to play. I need to birdie this to really put pressure on them. It's a tough shot. I'm taking it on. I'm taking it on, just trying to come over the top of this bunker. It's going to loft this up so we get some hang time in the air. Yeah, that should be bang on. This one should take us round to the left. We've played that well and we should be able to reach this green in two. Pardon me, in two now. Monster drive. So, we sh oh, that's a well positioned... Well positioned bunker. I'm just going to try and kick this in from the light rough. That wind should take us round to the left. Not too much though, but I'm trying to kick this onto the green from the rough here, guys. Hold it up. Let's see if we get a favourable outcome here. Just try to make... That's a great swing. How's that going so far left? Oh, it's going to be long. It's going to be another long putt. I can only assume that the slope at my feet, which was a green line, was far more aggressive to the left than what it suggested. Because that wind should not have moved me as hard left. It, it did basically go hard left from the, the club face, so it must have been the slope. This should really turn this should really turn hard now. Really happy with that, and hopefully we can pick up the birdie there. That's actually a good putt. This would put us to five under. And we are climbing this leaderboard. We are getting closer and closer and after that to the top one. pack. We are now only two shots behind Lowry, Sneed, Cooper, Seagull, Henry, Brooks, Copecat and Johnson. Just off the chasing top. Just off the top and chasing down these leaders. 10 mile per hour wind here. Just setting us down the right hand side. The wind should take us back round to the left hand side of the fairway. We're swinging well. We are really swinging well. Just not having a good around as a first, but I feel I'm going to need another nine under to at least match the top of the leaders here. But I'm struggling on the greens currently. 11 mile per hour wind. It's going to hold us up. It is playing 174. That wind will hold us up and move us to the left. Just deal off in this one touch. It's all it needs. Touch of fade to hold the wind. That's a great strike. Oh, we're we're that is going so long. How on earth can that ball travel as far as that into the wind? Once again, guys, you're seeing the wind in this game. It's so unpredictable. That ball went 35 feet past the, the flag. Have we hit that firm enough? Have we hit this firm enough? Get in. Oh, 
was a fantastic effort. I thought we would almost drop that for the birdie there. Unfortunately, it's just going to be the par. So I am struggling with the course conditions here. The wind is really confusing me at times here today. And we are still two shots off the leaders. Nick Faldo is back in the hunt as well. So let's use this light rough here, guys, hopefully, to hold this ball up and see if we can just hold the fairway. I'm hoping we do bounce in the first cut. We are swinging well today. Really happy with my swing. Just a pity. But my short game, especially on the greens, is letting me down today. But that's the way golf goes. So it's another pitch shot, 75 feet downhill. Let's say it's playing 74 yards. Just lofting up this. This wind should hold us up. It's a nasty looking pin position, nasty looking green. The wind will take us round. The green's going to take us to the right. Oh, I've put a slow on that. Should check up, though. Check. 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 Wow. You would honestly feel that that was a firm green. That was probably purely down to the, the slow outcome there. And the slope taking us away. So we've got an uphill putt. Get in. Get in. Oh, wow, it was a good weight. It was a good weight. I am starting to get to the grips of the weight of these greens, but they are challenging greens to read. And we're just going to pick up the par there, so we're not gaining any advantage on the current leaders. No change at the top. Hole 14, we are running out of holes here, guys. So we've got a 15 mile per hour wind. I still think this club is the right club. Just going to deal off it. This wind will take us around to the right. Just looking to kick on from the fringe here, probably. Hopefully, I've got enough club. It's a great strike. This could be decent. Run out. Run out. Get up. Kick up. Kick up. Kick up. Oh, I think we're just on the fringe, but it should be a fairly straightforward putt here, hopefully. There's not much in this. I am going to opt to putt this. Oh, I went far too firm. Far too firm there. And I do feel that the opportunities are slipping. What on earth? How did that ball move so hard right there, guys? What is going on? I'm looking back at that putt and it doesn't didn't suggest it was doing that. Once again, I feel that the course is... Like I said in round one, the information I had that the greens were so unpredictable. I've never seen a ball move hard right like that. I would have to look back at my putt line, but I don't think my putt line was too bad to manipulate the ball as badly as that. So that's a bogey, guys. We are not going to be winning this event. Just got to keep plodding away. It's a horrible bunker looking right in front of this flag stick here. And the wind has really picked up this back nine. That is a nasty bunker there protecting that pin. So with this 13 mile per hour wind, we're going to have to go with a hybrid. Just hopefully land over the top of this bunker, allow this wind to take us round and see if we can get this near the pin. This slope will take us left also. Oh, that wind's really moving me. We're going to be on the dance floor, but it's going to be a tough putt. That was a really challenging pin to get near in these conditions, especially with that positioned, strategically positioned bunker. I'm not a huge fan of this course. It's one of the poorer top RCR courses that I have played, unfortunately. But nonetheless, I've enjoyed my time out here. It's been a fantastic challenge. And I am now three shots off the lead with three holes to play. So I need three consecutive birdies and just hope that the AI, one of the leaders, drops a shot. Or all of them drop a shot. 
just going to apply a touch of fade here. Just going to really come through, try and find the gap between these trees. I need to be aggressive now. Push that slightly right, but it should be okay. Is it going to come out? Is it going to come out? Oh no, we failed to to find the fairway there. That was a poor swing though. We did push it right. And that is going to be a nasty pitch shot from here coming out of the light rough. I am on a severe slope to the right. The wind's going to take us to the left. 10 mile per hour wind. It's downhill though, so this ball should run out really well for me. This should run out well. We've played this well. It's downhill. Come on. Why? That ball stopped stone dead. Normally out the rough. With D loft in it, that ball normally really releases. It must have been that uphill slope that kind of held it up. And this is a nasty putt. 24 feet uphill. Turn into the left. Turn. Turn. It's got a chance. Turn. Oh, we've left it short once again. I feel that was bang on line for the birdie there. It was. And it's just going to be a part. So I do not think we're winning the Zurich Classic here. Patrick Cantley's came from nowhere, as is Bianco. Wow. Cantley, where did he come from? So, hole 17, really clubbing down to the 5 iron here. Try to make things happen. Let's see if we can finish strong. Let's get another birdie on the card here. Try and push for a top 10 finish. It's a great swing. I think for... 90% of my round have swung well today. Is this going to get closer? Is it going to get closer? I think we may have about an 8 or 9 foot putt for birdie here. Certainly gave myself an opportunity. 10 feet. Once again, it's downhill. It's a nasty putt. It's going to turn to the right. Turn. 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 Yes, we read that well and we do pick up a birdie. And that should move us slightly up the leaderboard. Top 45, we are way behind. We're four shots off the leader. I don't think we're going to get a top 10 finish. Hole 18. Birdie opportunity here. Although that wind's going to kill us. Once again, I do not fancy that slope, guys. The wind's taking us towards the water. And that's got a recipe for disaster written all over it. No matter how desperate I am for a birdie, we're going to club down and leave a longer approach shot into the green. We failed to birdie this in the first round as well. A poor flop shot. We got very slow, if I do recall. So I think we've made the right decision there. We're not going to reach this green in two, regardless, anyway. Oh, guys, that is horrible. This is horrible. I'm going to have to take this on. I'm going to try and skirt death with a bunker. I need to keep this hard left. Trying to run this along the edge of the bunker and hopefully get a break because if I'm too far right of the bunker this ball, this ball is trickling all the way down the slope into the water and that is a great strike look how clean a strike we haven't have we this could be close come on be nice be ah oh, and I think that just sums up a rhyme we've not had the luck that you do require sometimes to win events so we are going to have a pitch shot here from the sand oh it's a horrible pin it's on a yellow slope is it no, it's next to one No, This is so tough. Just hoping to use the contours of the green here and let this trickle down towards the pin. Decent execution. Is it going to run? Oh, that's came up way short. That has came up way short, guys. So we are going to finish off with a chip shot. Doesn't look like we're going to get the birdie. Looks like it's actually going to be a tough chip shot. I've really got to be careful with the way I play this. So we're going to try and use the green here to our advantage. Just loft this up once and see if we can chip in from here. This would be a fantastic way to finish this. Love to wait, walk away with Birdie here. This should turn now. Get in. Get in. Ah, oh, no. And like I said, it's just one of that round. So close. Yet so far away. So there you go, guys. We will finish with a par here. Not our round. Not our event. 
I'm sure I will bounce back. I really hope you enjoyed that. Congratulations to Patrick Cantley, who came from nowhere to win that. There you go, guys. Final round of the Zurich Open. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.